dude is a conspiracy theory. This dude gonna get innocent people killed. Man, he all right. I'm I'm just scrolling. I was actually fixing to turn my computer off so I could do something here at the house. Anyway, um, and I came upon this AK-47 has 3,200 people in his chat right now. He's upset because somebody has said something. Basically, who put out the information first about the victims of the Julio case that was shot when Julio was shot. Now, AK is saying, let me see, where does he say it at? He's showing right here where he put it out two days ago, okay? I don't even know when this other person put it out. Uh... He's, he's showing here how he went and found their social media, whatever. I guess it's Ratchet TV who's, they're going back and forth with. I don't know for sure. I'm only bringing this up because I think it's fucking hilarious. Now, I don't know who the first person was to put it out or not. What I can tell you is that today, let me pull this over. Is August the 11th. I put my content out August the 7th. Okay? Watch this. You see right here, August the 7th. Let's see. You're going to see it. It's right here. Somewhere right in here. The names. Let's go. Vehicle a black Chevy Impala arrived at those locations. Both suspect vehicles then followed the victim and his entourage to the scene where the homicide later occurs at the Homes to Suites in Tampa within Hillsborough County. The victim was traveling in a three car convoy with other friends and acquaintances. At the Homes to Suite, the silver Chevy Cruze drives by the victim's parts, parked vehicles twice and leaves. Then the three shooters get out of the black Chevy Impala armed and begin shooting at the victim's vehicles, killing Charles Jones and shooting victims number two, Xavier Edwards, victim number three, Gino Norris, and victim number four, Camia Bentley. Based on the investigation, the three shooters in the black Chevy Impala are Rashad Murphy, Sean Gathright, and Devon Murphy. Like I said, I don't know who put it out first, but I guess because I'm not hooping in, hollering and putting all this bass in my voice is the reason why, to this day, I only have 418 views on it. Once again, it's those big-ass channels that come and take my content, and they get paid for it. The man ain't mentioned the bitch. He didn't even know who the fuck got shot. Two days, and what the fuck did I just tell y'all the other day? What he do is he take people content and remix it. He Shout out to Larry Withdraw $10 for fuck that nigga. Shout out to Tamara Osborne for the $25 to get your drink on. Once again, I bring out the bitch. I put out her name. I show social medias of her. Two days later, here he come with some shit about the bitch. He did. I'm not even going to lie. I am totally shocked that I have actually made almost $10 between a live and a video on the same topic. I normally don't even get that. Don't get it twisted. That don't mean I'm happy about it. I'm just shocked that I got that much. There should be a zero, at least one zero behind that compared to all these big platforms.
All right, it's just easier to go straight to his um, video that he did than to try to see it through his live. Now, again, I'm not ragging on the man. But I know for a fact he went and got this from Reddick. Just like the majority of the people did. Because it's now on Reddick. Because somebody took pictures with their computer and their phone. If you look, that's why it's like crooked looking. Let me see. Down here at the bottom. See how it's all crooked looking? Okay. Whereas when I put it out, it didn't look like that. Why? Because I actually went and got the goddamn documents. Still got the goddamn documents. These are all different documents from that case that I got. This is the specific area of the documents that is in being talked about as far as the other victims. And you can see, I have all the documents, okay? Now, I can say they didn't go get my documents this time because I put my watermarks on it. But normally what happens is the people from Reddick will come watch my content they will take screenshots, go back and clout chase and post it on Reddit. Then other people will take it from Reddit and post it on Instagram. And in between all that, your big platforms like AK, like Ratchet, like Vlad, like Say Cheese, all the big ones will go get it off of either Reddit or IG, or even off of one of the bigger platforms. Meantime, between time, us little people that's been here longer than all of them who actually do the damn legwork and pay for it out of our pockets when there's fees that are attached. We don't get paid. They do. Because they got bass in their voice. And a few other things. Now, for whatever reason, AK went into a, a little spiel on his live, yelling at the other person, saying, show your, your lifetime of what you've made for the lifetime of your channel. And AK showed this. So this shows that for the lifetime of AK's channel, he's gotten almost a quarter million views. I think that's what it is. Is that what it is? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Almost a quarter million dollars with an average of $55,000 a year. And if you want to break it down a little bit more, it says so far in August, he's gotten $2,784 for the month. And for July, he got $9,900. And for June, he got $11,400 just for the month. Now let's look at mine. For the lifetime, I've gotten... $9,666. Now, you can either say that's an average of $1,600 a year since I started my channel, or since I actually got monetized, $2,400 a year since I, I was actually monetized. Right down here is my more realistic view. So far for the month of August, I've gotten $27.06. July, $108. And June, 120 uh, $138, excuse me. See what I'm talking about? But this is, as you can see, from October 2020 when I finally got monetized till now, it's the same dollar amount. So yes, that was for, that's when I actually got monetized was October 20th of 2020, even though I was eligible. And so as you can see here, uh, before that, from when I started my channel until October 20th of 2020, I already had, at the time, you, you had to have at least 1,000 subscribers. I had 3,400. You had to have 4,000 watch hours. I had almost 70,000 watch hours, but I was never monetized. You can see revenue, zero. 
not because of strikes, but because at that time, YouTube did not like the type of content that I put out. They considered that controversial. And because of that, I'm still blackballed to this day. And it doesn't help when these big platforms tell the public, don't watch that bitch. They don't want you to watch me because they know that ultimately the content does come directly from myself and a few others like myself. Now here, this is where AK went on about his super thanks, super stickers, whatever you want to call it. And for the lifetime of his channel, which he started in August of 2020, He's gotten over 32,000 in super thanks and 6,300 of them. So that comes out to an average of about $5.11 per super thanks. And if we come down here and look, it says super chat, 29,000, super stickers, 2,600, super thanks, uh, $216. And when we're comparing it, because it's only fair to compare it with mine, my lifetime is $435.39 with 103 actual purchases, which averages out to $4.22 each. And you can look at the bottom super chat, 259 stickers, 112 and thanks, 63 In other words, he's gotten more in one month in a, than I've ever gotten in a lifetime. And just so you can see here, for the month of August, so far, my estimated revenue is $23.55. I've gotten 6,249 views. I've gotten 40 new subscribers with the 646 watch time hours. And just so you know, if you look back on June, you can see this is pretty much the average that I'm doing. Um, I was doing a little bit better before my dad got sick in the hospital, but... When that happened, I got knocked out of the algorithm. Not that I was really in the algorithm that much, but the little bit that I was in there, I got knocked out. So it's like starting all over again. Now, for all you people that might be sitting there saying, oh, this bitch is capping, really? How many other giant platforms did you see this specific screenshot on back during the old Block Rico case? Because this shit came from my content. Mine. Some Reddit person took the screenshot, put it on Reddit, and all them big platforms ran with it. And they got tens of thousands of dollars every month the entire time the case was going on. Meantime, between time, I still got over a $300 bill I need to pay at Pacer. And none of these big platforms purchased a single document themselves but I did and over the four years the duck was has been gone I did I didn't even make a thousand dollars not even but I spent a thousand dollars on all those documents to get you the public the information y'all wanted to know and in return I got some good, supportive subscribers. But the majority of the public, y'all out there running to those big platforms because they got that little clown in their voice, that bass in their voice, and you're throwing money at them like there's no tomorrow. So when you hear me get a little attitude going, think about that and let that sink all the way in. And for all the idiots that want to stop by my platform and tell me how wrong I am and how I've been debunked and I always put out false information, run back to Martell and tell him to bite my ass. No, don't bite. I don't want to bite my ass. I don't need no cooties from his him. I'll be catching some contagious disease and die. But Martell, keep your ass out of my platform. Stop chasing me. Even when I'm on other people's platforms. Stop chasing me, Martell. I don't want you. Because the definition of Martell's research is, let me go to Loyalty and Betrayal's channel and watch her content. And I'll come back and I'll repeat what she says and then act like I actually did some work. And all you idiots believe him. I caught your ass the other day over there 
on Bandana Rose's platform, trying to pretend like if you were ghetto DVD. Busted! Dumb punk. And no, I didn't need your eight ball. Shouldn't you have been getting that for your mama? Or was that Fat Shorty's mama? I forget which one you were supplying lately. <laughs>